Hi, right, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, I've got another video here. Business Hybrid Connect, this little box here. So um, I've talked about BT, BT Broadband, which currently what I use at the house at the moment. So soon to switch over to Tube. So I've got, I've got my landlord, I'm only at my landlord or my tenancy, whoever that is, uh, um, to say, please talk to Tube to get fiber in the building because they can't come across without your permission. So that's basically what I've asked. So fingers crossed that I'll get fiber, but for the moment we're on BT. Now the BT um, Hybrid Connect, as they call it, is a box like this, or well, it is this box, okay? So it's like a, like a thing. Uh, this connects to the 4G network. So when my broadband goes down, the 4G kicks over. Now, the downside of this is, and I, I kind of think it really sucks, if you disconnect your cable in the house, let's say for instance, one of your pets chewed through the phone cable, this will kick in and provide internet. Brilliant. If the cable out in the streets physically disconnects, your broadband's off, this will connect and away you go again. Brilliant. Now, it's only brilliant if you are got a good 4G signal anyway. So you can test it out on your mobile phone to see how good it is, doing a speed test, run a speed test app on your phone, as you can see. Now, I'm lucky because my flat is very line of sight, as I said before, of the uh, mobile phone tariff. So my 4G signal and the speed of it is a lot better than my broadband provider itself. So I get 50 meg download, 90 meg up on average. On a 4G, I get a lot more, a lot more consistency. So um, it's, it's good. So when, I, when, I, when it flicks over to this, um, it's, I don't notice any difference in speed. It kind of works. Because I have a fixed IP address, it follows it. So when I only get disconnected from a router, it still signs it to the mobile data package. So my IP address is great. So when uh, a customer mine dials in, it's, I don't have to tell them a different address. It's seamless. They don't know whether the service is off or on, it works, which is great. Now, the downfall side of the, having these is, let's say for instance, your router that's connected to your phone line powers off, does not want to power on. This is useless. It doesn't provide any internet access because you can't connect to it. It relies on the Wi-Fi signal on your main um, broadband router to connect with this. So long as that's powered on, this will talk and all your devices will talk to this. Um, um, uh, otherwise, it doesn't work. It's useless. Um, I, I've never tried it, actually. I've tr the, the cable at the back here is for, for linking this device up if you can't get it linking normally with the Wi-Fi. But I've never tried this on its own with a PC and the connect in the back to see if you could just use the 4G on its side. It does have a SIM card in the bottom there where, where the SIM card goes. Um, but unfortunately, it kind of doesn't work. And the problems I'm having at the moment with this is it used to sit on my windowsill at the back here um, as a backup device when it was working. Always got a nice blue light on here saying it's connected. But recently, it's not been blue, it's been white. And I can't get the damn thing to resync with my Wi-Fi here. I've um, hard resetted it. I, I've done a full factory reset um, and it still doesn't want to work. When I plug the cable on the back, the sync with the router, it syncs for about two seconds and goes back to um, white again. So I'm going to have to phone up BT to resolve the issue. Uh, I've done all sorts on here. I've deleted it, erased it from my account, reapplied it back and still nothing. So they're only good if your router is always powered on it's only in, a, in a, an issue of a cable being chopped in the road or from your, um, your cat chewing it or your dog chewing it, basically. Other than that, it's a useless piece of kit that I'm aware of. Um, it, even when it's failed over, I, none of my devices can connect to it unless the router's actually on on itself. It doesn't provide an onboard Wi-Fi that all the devices can start going, oh, it's over here, connect to it, and away we go, because that would have been awesome if it did, but it doesn't. So it's just only in a failure of a cable failure, as I should say. But I've got to phone BT up, so I will find out the process of reconnecting this back, and I'll do a little video update on this to say how, when you got a white uh, light, how you can reconnect that back to your service. I think BT is going to have to do something on that side, so we'll have a look anyway. But that's kind of my do's and don'ts and hows and whys and failures and yeah is it you know it comes free with the service i can't moan it's not something i'm paying extra for otherwise i would just say save me some money 
don't 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 give it to me but it's part of my package anyway but i'm hoping two will be installed soon so i can have super fast broadband um high speeds very quick quicker than this <laughs> very soon anyway and again i'll keep you posted on that so if you like my and uh, the stuff i do please um check my channel out look for the coffee icon buy me a coffee um, or subscribe to my membership on YouTube uh, or below the video, something along there's a little support button. You can click on that and you can support me by offering a donation. It'd be great. All the money I can bring into this channel, I can produce more and more videos going forward. I love doing this sort of stuff. Uh, it'd be nice if we can carry it on and have some support from you guys behind it all. So thanks to all the new subscribers and thanks to all the subscribers. They're actually local to me. I didn't realize I've got some local subscribers within literally miles of where I live, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Keep watching, keep supporting me, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now. <laughs>